the hardest part. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, my apologies. Marvin, why did you end up <laughs> popping her balloon? <laughs> um, I guess, I mean, if I'm being shallow, it was the outfit. That's really all it was. Yeah. But, yeah. I get you. Yeah. We match, though. We do match. <laughs> we yeah. could go out, like, now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Hello, welcome in. Hey. I'll have you hold that. What's your name? Marvin. Marvin, how old are you? 30 years old. 30, okay, and what do you do? So I'm in the Air Force, I am an image consultant, and I also do personal training. Okay, all right, you're yeah. a busy man. <laughs> well, yeah, well, and now well, what well, do you well. look for in a woman? Um, I mean, similar things, like I like a woman that is also in shape, that okay. likes to value that. Um, has a good head on her shoulders, I know it's kind of vague, but mm -hmm. you know, I feel like I kind of sense that vibe rather than like put into words. Okay, all right. Okay, and what do you like to do for fun? Um, I mean, aside from working out, I like going outdoors. I like hiking. I like traveling, mm -hmm. shopping. Because okay. I'm an image consultant, so I mean, that's just something that I do. In All my right. Space time. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, so Marvin, as we see here, there are no balloons popped. I just noticed that. <laughs> I forgot the premise of the show for a second. Yeah, yeah. so now what's going to happen is I'm actually going to switch it on over to you if cool. I can have your toothpick. Thank you. I'm gonna have you hold that. So for the first round, I know it's gonna be a little bit tough, but we're just gonna have you pop two balloons strictly two. based off of looks. So you can go ahead and pop those two, and then I'll go ahead and ask you, you know, off of their look, what made you pop? That's the hardest part. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, my apologies. Okay, and one more. Uh, Okay, let's start right here. If we can have your name and age. My name is Sinceri. I'm 27. Okay, and let me have you stand right oh, here. Oh, my bad. There you go. <laughs> Yo, first of all, what is she wearing? Is that like a cat suit, man? I think I think she was filming Catwoman or something, man. She should have left this on the set. I don't know why she came with this oil <laughs> wearing this, you know? She came wearing this on this show. Come on, what are you doing? Leave this for Catwoman versus Batman or whatever. You're good. <laughs> and, um... Marvin, why did you end up popping her balloon? <laughs> um, I guess, I mean, if I'm being shallow, it was the outfit. That's really all it was. Yeah. But, yeah. I get you. Yeah. We match, though. We do match. <laughs> we yeah. could go out, like, now. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, Marvin. Okay, and now why did you leave your balloon unpopped for Marvin? He's in the Air Force. He likes to travel. I was going to ask him if he had his passport and where he has been, but that's yeah. okay. I think a passport is a given. He's in the Air Force. You would expect him to have a passport, wouldn't you? Imagine being in the Air Force and you don't have a passport. Passport. Okay. Yeah. That's great. Right. Thank you. Yeah. Let's go into our next one over here. If we can have your name and age. Angel 23. Okay. And now, Marvin, why did we end up popping <laughs> Angel's balloon? Um... I don't know, just not my type, mm. honestly, yeah. Okay. And in, yeah. in what way, what makes her not your type? Um, I guess, yeah, just didn't catch my attention, but I don't mean that in like any kind of crazy way, just didn't catch my attention. Okay. Yeah. okay, yeah. All right, and now Angel, why did you leave your balloon unpopped for Marvin? Oh, because I'm in the Air Force too. Really? So was, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh man. Mm. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what happens when you judge a book by its cover, right? <laughs> He was like, yo, she ain't my type. But in reality, they do the same thing. That's funny, ain't it? I, I would actually be shocked because I would imagine these two would have more commonalities than him and any other girls over here, right? Just because they do the same thing, they probably understand each other more, right? But I mean, you gotta be you gotta be shallow a bit, right? So I guess she ain't a stunner for him. But um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Small what? world out here, man. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we do have a few ladies still left. Did you have a question to go ahead and help you narrow it down? Uh, yeah, actually. Okay. Um, do you guys have children? Okay. So are you holding up the number of children you have? Okay. Two now, children. Is that a that deal breaker is. for you? It is. It is? Okay. I'm so sad. <laughs> I'm so sad. All right, let's just go ahead and go over to some of those ladies. 
damn, like three of them got disqualified off the rip. <laughs> for having a child, I suppose. Don't blame me, man's got standards. Man's gotta live up to them, right? It doesn't matter how beautiful you look, how much of his eye you catch or whatever. If you can't live up to his standards, I guess you gotta go. <laughs> we can have your name and age. My name is Sierra Karas, but I go by Sakari. I'm, I'm 30 years old. Okay. okay. And Sakari, why did you leave your balloon on pop for Marvin? Um, he seems pretty well-rounded, um, so I just gave it a shot. Okay. Appreciate that. <laughs> All right. If we can have your name and age. Hi, I'm Ashley. I'm 29. Okay. And Ashley, why did you have your balloon on pop for Marvin? Well, definitely very polished. He said he was an image consultant. He likes to shop. I model. Mm -hmm. It just kind of fit that way. But also intellectually, I feel like he has a good head on his shoulders, and that's something I'm kind of focusing on. Mm -hmm. um, but I ended up popping because still breaker was kids, yeah. and I do have children. So fair enough. <laughs> You're beautiful, though. Thank you. Right. Thank you. <laughs> if we can have your name and age. My name is Leah. I'm 28 years old. All right. And Leah, why did you leave your balloon unpopped? He's very handsome. I love his teeth. I love, I'm a teeth person. Yeah. He has nice lips as yeah. well. He's very fit. It's giving my type. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And now, is she your type? I know you said the kids are the deal breaker though, but. Yeah. Okay. All right, girl. <laughs> and then right down over here. Okay. If we can have your name and age. Yes, Alexis. I'm 29. All right. And Alexis, why did you leave your balloon unpopped? Because he's a good looking gentleman. He seems like he has his head on it, um, his shoulders and um, yeah. Okay, all right. <laughs> yeah. And now Marvin, is she your type as well? Yeah, okay. I love the dress. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, girl. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we do still have two balloons unpopped. Did you have another question that you wanted to ask the ladies to help us narrow it down? Do you smoke? Okay, let's go over here. If we can have your name and age. My name is Heaven, I'm 25. Okay. And Heaven, his question was, do you smoke? No. Okay, cool, cool. All right. Huh? And then let's go down over here. If we can have your name and age. Um, my name is Alexis, I'm 29. All right. And Alexis, to answer his question, do you smoke? No. I have I before, yes, but do I know? Okay. Cool. Cool, man. All right. Ladies, do you guys have a question for him? So, like, what's a few, like, important, your most important characteristics that you look for in a woman? I would say level-headed. So, you know how to have a conversation. You don't jump to conclusions. You're able to actually have, um, like, if we have disagreements, we can actually go over those disagreements and not just be at each other's throat. I think that's a big thing. I'm a very big communication person. Mm -hmm. So, I would say that's number one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. That was perfect. Okay. <laughs> I mean, communication is key. But you know, I would say like communication and comprehension, though, because a person can't communicate with you and not understand you. So you have to be able to understand and communicate. But, See? Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's go down over here. We'll be back for you, girl. <laughs> okay. Did Heaven? Did you have a question for Marvin? What's your relationship with God? Um, I do not have a relationship with God. I would say that because I mean, you're Christian. I'm assuming. Yes. Or? You are Christian? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, I'm not Christian, but I do explore different religions, but I'm not attached to one. Okay. That's what you're, yeah. Go ahead. Oh, I took your toothpick, didn't I? <laughs> okay, and now why did we end up popping? That's very important to me. That's there, up okay. there. Fair enough. I mean, at this point, I get it. It's, I guess it's, it's a host's job to ask a question. So why did we end up popping? I mean, it's kind of obvious, right? It gives it itself out. She asked him what his relationship with God is, and he said he does not really have a God. He's not really attached to a particular um, religion. But you know, so obviously, she, after that, she reaches for the toothpick. So one would assume that it has to do with his answer about the ask question. So I mean, you'd assume it's because he's not a Christian. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I respect I it. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go down over here. <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> All right, Alexis. I heard you say a little something when he said he doesn't have a relationship with God. Is that something that's a problem for you? It's very important because like he's the one who leads the way. But I will say though, like, I can't make you believe in God. Like that has to be, like you have to find him on your own. But like having the conversations, eventually if it happens, you know, it'll probably work. If not, you know, I can't like force you to have a relationship best between you and God. Mm -hmm. But it's important. Okay. 
Is that a deal breaker for you? Oh, Jesus. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> only, only just because. <sighs> hey, you gotta stick to, you gotta stick to your roots, all right? Baby, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm. You almost made it. <laughs> That's all good. So you said you That's explore. What, what does that mean? Um, so. Nah, man. Um, at the end of the day, I thought here she was onto something. She was saying, like, you gotta find God by yourself, blah, blah, blah. So, I mean, the way she was answering, it's as if it wasn't a deal breaker. So, it kind of puzzles me why she switched. I mean, if he has to find God at his own timing, that shouldn't be a deal breaker. You know, you should be by him. And if you're able to, you know, explore and teach him things about God, and I'm sure eventually down the road, he probably would find him, right? So it just goes on to show you're probably not our patient. You're probably not patient with him, right? And at the same time, um, yeah, I mean, I guess everybody got preference, right? That's, that's you, right? If religion is such a big thing in your life and all your partners you date, they have to be full force in. Fair enough, granted, but I get, but my thing is like, in the way you were answering it, it's as if it wasn't a deal breaker, it's as if it's alright, you know, you guys could date and you'll eventually find God on his own time, so it was weird how you were answering that, but it is what it is. Um, so like this month, for instance, so right now Ramadan's being celebrated, okay. um, and so that's something that I've been looking into because I do like the idea of fasting from different things that, um, just aren't good for you, you know? So I don't necessarily have an attachment to any religion. If it has something that I guess um, that I vibe with, then I'll do it, okay. you know? But So you're not like against it, if you will? I will say with Christianity, so I grew up Christian mm -hmm. and I went to a Catholic school, but it was really rough for me. So I think it's kind of like a childhood kind of thing so that's why I'm not really gravitating towards Christianity because as a kid it was just rough you know well you know what me popping a balloon that probably was my fault because I probably should have engaged more mm. um, Sorry. because my father's side like majority is Muslim okay and they're going through Ramadan right now I've actually like studied it and I have a Quran as well but you could have taught me you know to touch a little residence <laughs> but you know it's, it's not over <laughs> but I just I just want to you know make sure that like you you have to understand that he is the way and the only way mm -hmm. that's it okay so with him being open-minded to that, is that still something that's a deal breaker for you? I think we can have an open conversation. Oh, yeah. Are we getting that balloon back? Can you give me a balloon back? Yeah. <laughs> Let me give you that. Let me bring you up here. Let's come up here. <laughs> Look at her, she's switching back. <laughs> I'll have you stand right here. <laughs> you guys, you guys think she's actually switching because of the whole religion thing, or do you think she's just switching because she just don't want to go home single? <laughs> you know, she's the last person here standing. Um, guys, good looking. She's like, damn, you know, I might miss my opportunity if I leave him. He seems well too good to be true. Do you think this whole um, explanation she's giving about religion? Do you think it's just a front, or do you think she actually is strictly religious? You know. That's a tough one there to crack, but uh, yeah, I hope I hope it all has to do with the religion and all that, and not just because he's a catch. You know, he's all well-rounded. He's all like he's doing. He's got his hand in all different cookie jars. You know, I hope it's not because of that. You know, I hope it's actually she genuinely decided to get her balloon back because of you know um, a lady. The fact that it has to do all with religion. <laughs> All right, so Marvin says she is open-minded to it. Did you all have any final questions for one another before we determine if this is a yes? No? I think I'm, I'm willing to you you know, get to know him a little bit. Okay, <laughs> so is it gonna be a yes for you for him? I would say he, he earned a yes. Okay, yes for you for her? Yeah. We yeah. got yeah. a match! <laughs> all right, I'll take this mic and you guys can go on up. Damn though, if this works out, this will be a hell of a story. Imagine telling your grandchildren and great great grandchildren having this story passed on from generation in generation of how, you know, the grandparents met. <laughs> wow, wicked, eh? Like literally, that was a close shot. They're almost not matching, right? But it would be nice if it actually works out and end up building a family and, you know, just become 
a whole other power couple out there well fingers crossed anyways that's the video guys leave a comment subscribe let me know what y'all thought about this all right and i'm gonna catch you on the next one easy